when using Smartify. The usual Smart Effect works uh, great in, in cycles. There is no issue. The, even the frame per second are like real time, 60 frames per second, for example. But if we go to EV, obviously uh, it's uh, much more complex for EV to handle uh, as many nodes, especially the ambient occlusion nodes. So here by default, the FPS will drop a lot. And, and the, the solution is to use the texture mixer, which uh, instead of uh, mixing two shaders here between your your shader and your material output, it will mix texture sets. So basically you can import a texture set or create your own or simply plug textures uh, in these nodes. And the advantage is that it will actually blend uh, the textures depending on their height. So firstly, it's uh, real time. So I'm, I'm at 60 FPS in the viewport. And when I paint a mask here in the, the first output, you can see that the the texture appear mostly in the in the cracks first of the the first the first texture set so it looks very natural and basically with the these two masks i can push more or less uh, how the the mask affects the the blending between the textures and by default they will blend and um, based on their height so the the lowest point of the first texture is where the second texture will appear first in the cracks and if i deactivate this it will the height, the height blend to only use the, the actual mask so it can be smart effects or color vertex color or textures or a blend with the mask mixer you can mix even ambient occlusion with uh, facing with vertex colors but if you have height it's uh, it's better to use the, the height blend and then things will start to blend way more naturally so when the material flashes white it's because it's recompiling the shader and here with this setup it only takes a very small fraction of a second because that's very digest for ev to compile basically the tree planar mapping is uh, a bit hard on, on ev but just using uvs and these uh, light nodes and the texture mixer allows to basically don't impact performance and have this very nice uh, realistic blending but then uh, if you want to get more realism, you can always switch to cycle and connect the displacement. And then you will have actual blending between the, the textures. And to tweak how they blend together, you can adjust their power, basically, the, how much their height is boosted or not between the two. So the B is the mass here. I can calm it down so it will basically shrink inside the the first texture. And the soft mask is to have a softer blend between the the two texture sets here i'm removing the ambient occlusion and so now there is nearly no impact on performance so yeah that's one way to get very light uh, smart materials simply grabbing a, a texture set connecting it with the uh, alt right click and basically being able to paint this uh, this texture set together while still being able to change the actual textures and switch in between cycles and EV while still having this uh, very natural uh, displacement blending and even without displacement still having some impression that this is uh, 3D because the, the texture blend pretty logically. So yeah, I think that's it for this alternative way to create smart material, basically using the texture mixer that's in uh, in the node groups mixer and here at the end yeah hope that helps thanks